So guys, for the first step, you wanna get into this screen. Now to get here, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times and then on the fourth time, when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to be saying that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And now once we're on this, there are some things that we can try. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you do not see system restore in this list, you want to click on see more recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you want to click on system restore. If you have any restore points available on your computer, then you want to click on next and then go back to your restore point. This should not fix your problem. If you don't have any restore points, that's fine. We're going to click on cancel. For the second method, we're going to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then uninstall updates. You want to try to uninstall the latest quality updates. You want to click on this and then click on uninstall. Now, if it let you uninstall the latest quality updates, see if that works for you. If not, we're going to click on close. For the next method, we're going to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then startup settings. And then click on restart. And now once we're on this, we're going to disable driver signature enforcement. So we're going to click on either 7 or F7 on our keyboard. So click on 7 or F7, which is now going to boot you up into Windows. And hopefully this will not fix your problem.